Hello, thank you for joining us. And a special thanks to the Holistic Centers Network for inviting us to make this little video. We hope you enjoy spending a little time at Mount Madonna Center, getting to know the place, and doing a short practice with us. We'll do some asana, uh, yoga postures, pranayam, breathing exercises, and a guided meditation. Mount Madonna is a retreat and conference center on over 375 acres of redwood forest in the mountains of Santa Cruz. We have a K-12 school, a college of yoga, Ayurveda, and community studies, and a traditional Hanuman temple where Arati, the ceremony of light, is performed twice daily. At the heart of Mount Madonna is a community of practice. There are currently about 85 residents and thousands more across the world who stay connected through our annual retreats and by practicing and spreading the teachings of yoga wherever they are. The center was founded in 1978 by Baba Hari Das a monk of the Vaishnava Vairagi sect who came to the U.S. from northern India in 1971. Babaji took a vow of silence and communicated by writing on a small board which he carried with him. His succinct messages were always rich with wisdom, real compassion, and kindness. Many books of his writings have been published, including letters to his students, stories, teachings and practices, and commentary on classic texts. Babaji also taught by example, through work and play, and through his seemingly unending knowledge, not just of the vast teachings of yoga, but of how the world works and how to live skillfully with others. For so many of us, he has served as living proof that the deepest love and most profound states of peace are available to anyone by regular spiritual practice and by living a virtuous life. Before doing asana, it's always good to do a few warm-ups. So you can stand up, shake off the cobwebs, and we'll start by rubbing the palms together. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Rub them vigorously, generate some heat. Then place the hands on the face, give yourself a little face massage. Rub the head, the temples, the jaw. You can squeeze the ears, rub the scalp, squeeze out the neck. Let one arm go loose and squeeze it out with the other hand, and then squeeze out the other arm. And just generally go everywhere and give yourself a quick full body massage. Stand up straight and hop in place. Go loose, moving all kinds of ways. Kick the legs out, twist around. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Jumping jacks are great. Anything to get the blood pumping and start moving things around inside. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Take the legs a bit wide, inhale and reach up, and exhale, bend the knees and swoosh down. You can do this a couple times, inhale up, exhale, swoosh, inhale up, exhale, swoosh. 
Then come to sitting, cross the legs, grab the feet, and roll back and forth a few times to loosen up the muscles of the back. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And then extend the legs, grab for one leg, cradle it in the forearms, and rock it back and forth a little. And then do some big circles with the foot. Go both directions. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And you can do the other side. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And do some big circles. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Both directions. Hare Rama. And now just lean back on the hands and slap the legs on the ground a few times. And we'll just come into any comfortable sitting position. Nothing fancy, won't be here too long. Take a few moments to let things settle, let the body relax. You can take a couple deep sighs. And then just let the breath relax. You'll likely still be a little bit out of breath at this point, so just take some time, notice the feeling of the breath, and without controlling it, just watch the breath as it calms down on its own. And as the breath is calming down, we'll take just a few moments for a little yoga philosophy to set the context before we do our asanas. Sutra 46 from Book 2 of Patanjali's Yoga Sutras Sthira Sukhamasanam The posture should be steady and comfortable. Classically, the purpose of asana is to create a comfortable seat for meditation. But as we get into the practice, the idea really is to sit comfortably within yourself while placing the body in the various positions. Sutra 47 Prayatna Shaitilyananta Samapati Bhyam. Posture is mastered by relaxation of effort and absorption in the infinite space. What is meant by infinite space? The important thing is the approach. It's not just a physical exercise, but a certain quality of movement. Relaxed effort combined with a deep focus on what is happening. If you are completely absorbed, without thinking of the past or the future, then there's just the continual present moment, which is the infinite space. Babaji writes, In doing asanas, the movement should be slow and thoughtful, in harmony with a slow inhalation and slow exhalation. The more slowly one lifts an arm, the more one becomes aware of the movement and the strength it requires. In the same way, the more slowly one breathes, the more one becomes aware of the movement of the breath. Combining this awareness of body movement with awareness of deliberate, rhythmical breath allows for a synthesis of body, breath, and mind, which is the essence of all yoga practices. For our asana, we'll be practicing Surya Namaskar, a series of 12 asanas, one for each phase of the sun, consisting of six upward-facing postures and six downward-facing postures. When done together, these asanas form a mudra, or gesture, which when done correctly with attention on the breath, directs and increases the flow of subtle energy and purifies the subtle nerve channels. We'll start by going through the postures one by one, and then we'll do a few rounds in a smooth flow. Stand near the front of your mat, gazing forward with palms together in front of the chest. The body is relaxed and natural, and there's a feeling of being lifted and held upright by a subtle energy. Namaskar Asan. 
Exhale to prepare. Inhale, slowly bringing the arms up. Follow the hands with the gaze and reach for the sky. Urdhva Namaskar Asan. You can do any amount of backbending that feels good. Exhale, reach up and over, bringing the hands down to the feet and tuck the chin. Hasta Padasan. Bend the knees if you need to so you can touch the ground. Inhale, slide the left foot back, bring the knee down and gaze up. Reach the heart forward. Ekapada Prasaranasan. Exhale, step back with the other foot. Press the hips up and back and make the body into the shape of a mountain. Bhudrasan. Inhale, bring the body forward into a plank, shoulders over the wrists. Dvipad Prasaranasan. Optionally, if it feels good on your low back, you can come all the way forward and let your hips hang from the shoulders for Bhujangasan. Exhale, bring the knees down first, and then bend the elbows and come all the way down. Keep the hips lifted slightly. Ashtang Pranam. Eight parts on the ground, feet, knees, hands, chest, and chin or forehead. Inhale, hips down, gaze up. Press into the hands any amount. Bhujangasan. Exhale, press back into the mountain pose. Go ahead and make it easy. Stay on the knees as you press back and then straighten them at the end. Bhudrasan. Inhale, lead with the same foot. Left foot forward for the lunge on the other side. Knee down, gaze up, heart forward. Ekpada Prasaranasan. Exhale, feet together, standing forward bend, tuck the chin. Hastapadasan. Inhale, reach all the way up. Maybe a back bend if it feels good. Urdhva Namaskarasan. And exhale, bring the palms together in front of the chest and gaze forward. Take a moment to relax the breath and just see how that feels. And one more practice round, leading with the right this time. And we won't stop on each posture, we'll just go straight through. Exhale to prepare. And inhale, arms up. Reach tall, maybe a back bend. Exhale, dive forward, up and over the hips. Reach out and then down. This time the right foot back. Inhale. Knee down, gaze up. Reach the heart forward. Exhale the other foot back and press into the hands. Mountain pose. Inhale. Come forward, plank or cobra. Nice and slow, exhale, knees down, bend the elbows, chest and chin or forehead. Inhale, hips down, gaze up. And exhale, press into the hands, reach back with the hips. Mountain pose. Inhale, right foot forward. Step it all the way to the hands if you can, knee down and gaze up. And exhale, standing forward bend, tuck the chin. Inhale, arms up, reach tall. And exhale, palms together, bring them forward in front of the chest. And take another catch breath, relax. We'll continue the practice now, doing a few rounds of Surya Namaskar in a continuous flow. You'll hear the chanting of six Bija mantras, seed sounds. They don't have as much of a translation as they do an energetic vibration. You can use the mantras to help set the pace, but if your breath becomes too slow or too quick or you lose your breath, don't worry, just take extra breaths and do as you can. The main thing is to feel relaxed and enjoy the practice. Exhale to prepare. Inhale. And exhale. Left foot. Inhale. Feel free to make it your own. Exhale. Inhale, plank or cobra, 
exhale. Take extra breaths if you need to, just relax, exhale, left foot, inhale, knee down, gaze up, maybe reach the arms up, exhale, standing forward bend, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, right into the next round. Inhale. See if you can use the entire time of movement to breathe. Exhale smoothly. Just as you touch the ground, the lungs are empty and right foot. Inhale. Exhale. Notice how the practice felt. Reflect on anything that you might want to change to make it easier or more enjoyable. And we'll do one more on each side. You could make Surya Namaskar your whole practice. 
As the breath gets longer and the movement gets slower, it can take over an hour to do a full 12 rounds. Go ahead and lie down now. You might cover the eyes or cover the body with a blanket to stay warm. The arms should be a bit away from the body, palms up, the legs a bit apart, feet falling open to the sides. Relax the entire body. Shavasana. Rather than let the mind spill out into thoughts, Stay focused on the feeling of relaxation in the body. If you notice that your mind has wandered, just gently bring it back. Watch the easy rise and fall of the breath and the feeling of going deeper and deeper into stillness. Take a nice deep breath and welcome some movement back into the body. Stretch the arms overhead. Hug the knees into the chest and roll over to one side. And press yourself up gently into a seated position and we'll prepare for pranayama and meditation. It's important to establish a comfortable seat for meditation. You might want to sit on a pillow to lift the hips, and if the knees are still floating off of the ground, you can roll a blanket or put another pillow under the knees so that they can relax and there won't be any tension. Sitting in a chair is also an option. Just make sure your feet are squarely on the floor and your hands rest comfortably on the knees so you can relax the arms. Pranayam. Sutra 49. Tasmin sati shvasa prashvasa yor gati vichedaha pranayamaha. On this perfection of posture, the cessation of movement of inspiration and expiration of breath is called regulation of breath, pranayama. Pranayama is translated as regulation of breath because that's the method, but it really means regulation of subtle energy, or pran. By regular practice of pranayama, the breath becomes more even, more subtle, longer, and eventually stops without any effort. By learning to control the breath, you start to become aware of the energy that moves the breath. This subtle energy is what moves everything, the body, the thoughts, the emotions, and everything everywhere. Learning to control the flow of energy is the true meaning of pranayama and it is achieved by regulation of breath. Most pranayama practices are best done under the observation of an experienced teacher. For this session, we have chosen two practices that are simple and safe for beginners, 
and continue to become more subtle and powerful with years of regular practice. Dirga Rechak Long Exhale In this practice, the exhale is extended and made to be smooth and subtle. The inhale is natural. Begin by exhaling completely to prepare and inhale through the nostrils, taking a full, normal breath. At the top of the inhale, hold the breath for a moment and then begin a slow, smooth exhale through the nostrils. Extending the breath, making it as long as you comfortably can. At the bottom of that long exhale, inhale naturally to begin the next round. In Dirgharechak, the breath makes no sound. There's no constriction in the throat. And the concentration is on the quality of the breath. With regular practice, the breath becomes so subtle that it could stop at any point. Dirga Rechak, long exhale. Please practice five to ten rounds as time permits. If you become short of breath or have to gasp for air, it probably means you pushed yourself a little too far. Take a catch breath, relax, and begin again, and don't worry about how long your breath is. It should feel easy and relaxed. With regular practice, the length of your breath will increase naturally.
please complete the round that you're on. And then return to a relaxed breath and notice any effects of the practice. The next pranayam practice will be Dirga Purak, long inhale. You might take a catch breath to prepare, breathe in fully, and then exhale completely. Pause briefly at the bottom of the exhale, and then begin a slow, smooth inhale through the nostrils, making the inhale as long and subtle as you can. At the top of that long inhale, exhale normally and completely. Dirga Purak, long inhale. Please practice five to 10 rounds or as time permits. Take your time to finish the round that you're on and then relax the breath and sit with any effects that you notice. Meditation on Sushumna Nadi. Sushumna Nadi is the subtle energy channel that runs from the base of the spine, Muladhar Chakra, to the middle of the head region behind the brow, Agnya Chakra. Inhale consciously 
and visualize the breath going down from the nostrils to the navel. Exhale and watch the breath rise from the navel and go out through the nostrils. Do this five or ten times. Inhale consciously, visualizing the breath going from the nostrils down to the navel. The breath is spreading a vital energy throughout the body. Your head, your chest, your abdomen, your arms and legs, all are filled with this prawn. As you exhale, imagine all impurities, ego, lust, fear, anger, attachment, etc. All these are departing through every pore of your body. Inhale as prawn fills the body. Exhale as impurities depart through the pores. Do this five or ten times. Now, as you inhale from the nostrils to the navel, a feeling of bliss spreads throughout the body. Your head, your heart, in the belly, in the limbs, all is bliss. As you exhale, feel the bliss spreading all around you. Continue this breathing.
visualize a line of light running from the base of the spine up to the head. It is the thickness of a hair and very bright. Gradually, it grows in diameter. Now it is the thickness of your little finger and growing more luminous. Now it is the thickness of your middle finger and growing even more luminous. Now it is the thickness of your thumb, still growing more luminous. Now a column of light is standing inside of you, from the base of the spine to the top of the head. It is spreading all around you. Now you are in the middle of a light shaped like an egg. Concentrate on the egg-shaped light surrounding you for the next few minutes.
Now, the egg shape is changing into a column of light. Now the light is as thin as your thumb. Now the light is as thin as your middle finger. Now the light is as thin as your little finger. Now the line of light is like a hair running from the base of the spine up into the head. Take some time. You might want to stretch out the legs. Feel free to lie down or continue sitting. And we'll close with a song.
thanks for spending some time with us. We hope you enjoyed this little window into our world, and we hope to see you again. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare